Hi, I'm Clark County Poet Laureate Angela M. Brommel, and today we're talking with Ilakia Suresh about her recent Girl Scout project, Voices Heard Through Poetry, a mental health based youth poetry jam at the Gibson Library, which is where we are today. Hi, Ilakia. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing good, thank you. How good. about you? I'm good. I'm good. I love the library. Can you tell us a little bit about your project and why you wanted to do it? Well, um, the project was first meant as a silver award project for Girl Scouts, as I'm a cadet in Girl Scouts at the moment. So a silver award project is, well, first of all, there's three different projects for Girl Scouts, the bronze award, the silver award, and the gold award. So the bronze award is the first one you do as a junior in about fourth and fifth grade. Uh, silver award is for middle schoolers and gold award is for high schoolers. I did the silver award as a middle schooler and so I decided to do a poetry jam. But first of all, that wasn't my first idea. Um, at the start, I just wanted to do something based on teen mental health. Mm -hmm. I knew that from the start, just because I'd been seeing a lot of issues with it recently in like my community, and I feel like that's said by the fact that there is a hope squad at almost all the middle schools. So, okay. So, are you a poet? Uh, yeah, I'm a poet. Okay. Well, how long have you been writing poetry? Um. A couple of years now, not very long, but since about fourth or fifth grade. What kinds of things do you write and how often do you write? Um, I mainly write about, sometimes it's just random things I'd like to write about, sometimes it's prompts, it's from music, but mainly I like to write about issues in the world today as I try to use my poetry as a way to um, help educate people on it. And That's as wonderful. Thank you. As for how often I write, um, I used to write about every single day, but um, as I've gotten a bit more busy, I've started writing at least once a week. That's still really good. It's hard for a lot of people to find a regular time to write. Um, you know, maybe what we could do is have you tell us what that day looked like at the library. Um, okay. so. First of all, me and my friends from Girl Scouts came in to set up, and Miss Katie Wechter from NAMI, who um, graciously agreed to be there and speak about mental health, um, set up, and you came in and helped us as well. And then it was a full room with all of the poets and the families um, being there, and yeah, it went really well. Everybody stood at the stage, they read their poems, and you and Miss Wechter read your incredible speeches. Thank you. Can you tell people that don't know what NAMI is and what Katie told us about? Oh, uh, yeah, so NAMI is the National Alliance of Mental Illnesses, and um, it's a type of organization to try and help people with mental health issues. Um, Ms. Wechter spoke about uh, some resources that people could use, the new text line that NAMI has right. come up with. Could you read the poem for us that you read at the beginning of your event? Um, of course. Thank you. So the poem was called Anxiety. Anxiety. The fear squeezes your chest as you try to leave your nest, as you try to ace your test, as you try to impress. It chokes you as you try to keep a calm expression, as you try to answer the question, you don't know if it is depression, as you try not to show your obsession. But there's ways to help rein it in, ways to make sure it doesn't win. It's not easy, that's certain, but you know you can do it within. Take a deep breath, follow my lead, and I will show you how to be free. Do what you want, no need to plead. This is your choice, don't need to concede. Be yourself, although it's not easy. There's no need to be a people pleaser. Reach for help, it's okay to need others to help you try and be free. You may be frightened, but you're not alone. No matter what, you will always have a home with those who love you the most. So be yourself, don't be anxiety's host. Thank you. Thank you. you know, it was such a beautiful project, and I think I shared that day, that we didn't have a telephone number like that that we could text when I was younger. And if there had been one, I would have texted, I feel nervous. 
So it was an incredible project that you paired this resource with the arts for your peers. And I think you were telling me beforehand, what happens with this project next? Um, so Gibson Libraries has agreed to keep on um, doing this event annually and keep hosting it for all of the teens who might need it. Um, meanwhile, I will try to start my Gold Award project in high school. So hopefully I can help even more people. That's wonderful. How about reading one more poem for us, maybe something that's not related to this project and a little bit about why you wrote it? Uh, sure. So um, this poem is called Earth's Warning and it's actually my favorite poem that I've ever written. Earth's Warning. The sun and the moon, they circle each other, fighting on how to help their brother, while the earth shivers in his bed, the thermometer is slowly turning red. The sun argues, let me shield him from the danger on the rim. No, the moon argues, shaking her head, you will only increase the heat he is fed. But then how will we help them, they both cry. How do we shield him when death is nigh? Humanity def he defends, he tries and he tries, but even so, all he tells himself is lies. They whisper and they think, but all their ideas go down the sink. How to save their brother, they do not know. All they can do is hope humanity grows. The sun and the moon, they whisper and wonder, what should they do to help keep their brother above the water? The earth's temperature keeps rising as the two keep fighting. After time, the thermometer is high, the sun and the moon's hands are tied as they watch in sorrow as their brother fails to see tomorrow. So dear humans, do not allow yourselves to run from your problems for someday you will be swallowed. One day the earth will die, do not make it so this day is nigh. Stop polluting your home, for otherwise it will become your tomb. Thank you. And that's an important message, and the important thing about poetry like that is maybe if people hear it, it will inspire them to do something to make that not happen. Yes. Yeah. So thanks so much for coming out today, and make sure to let me know if you read more and when you get your badge. All right. Thank you so Kay. much, Ms. Bermel. Bye. Now, I have to say many more thank yous because without so many people, Voices Heard Through Poetry never could have existed. Thank you to Henderson Libraries, especially Ms. Nicole Thomas at Gibson Library. Thank you to Ms. Angela Bermel, the Clark County Poet Laureate, and Ms. Katie Wechter, the NAMI Social Media Manager, as well as NAMI of Southern Nevada for your support in this event. Thank you to the young poets who entered the Poetry Gem. And thank you to all the support from Girl Scouts of Southern Nevada and my Girl Scout troop. Thank you to all the teachers, counselors, and more who helped spread the word about the Poetry Jam. And a special thanks to Del Webb Middle School for supporting me throughout this entire project. Last but not least, thank you to my family and friends for everything you've done for me. Thank you all and have a great day. And as a reminder, if you are participating in our Writer Ready series, our next class will be November 12th with Elizabeth Keones Saldana, uh, The Epistolary Impulse. And it's a workshop about poems as letters, which is also part of State Poet Laureate Gail Marie Palmeyer's statewide project, Nevadan to Nevadan, I Have Something to Tell You. Thanks so much. Happy writing. Mm -hmm.